Hello and welcome. Let's solve this question together. But first, try it on your own. Okay, so does the equation below define a linear function? In other words, they want to know linear, line, um, think of the word line, it's right there in the word linear. Linear. Um, is, does this have a constant rate of change? That's what, that's what they're asking us to find. So, and then wants to explain our work. So what I'm going to do is solve it with you, and I'm going to say what I would write out, but I'm not going to write it on here, it would just take me too long. So notice y equals 3 over x. That means y is equal to 3 divided by x. And we're, they're saying when x does not equal 0 because we can't divide by 0. So other than that case, they want to know, is this linear? So what I want to do is set up a table with x's and y's. And we'll just take a couple of samples. We'll try x is 1, x is 3, and x is 6. I'm choosing 1, because I like to start there. Then I'm choosing two uh, multiples of 3, because I want to work with 3 and get nice whole numbers. So what is y when x is 1? Well, y is equal to 3 divided by 1, which is 3. So that means our first point, if we were graphing this, is the point 1, 3. Then if we plug in 3, y is equal to what? Well, 3 divided by 3, which is 1. So when I plug in 3, I get 1. And so far, this could be linear because if you look at our points and what's happening, we go up 2 and then down 2. If this keeps happening, <coughs> excuse me, then it's a constant rate of change, right? Now, I'm realizing I chose 6 originally because it's a multiple of 3. However, um, I don't, that's going up by 3 in the next case, which is going to make the comparison confusing. So that was, a, that was not the best choice. What I'm going to do is pick 5. 5 goes up by 2 as well. So what I should see is that this y value, if it is linear, it will go down by 2 again, right? Because we're going up by 2 from 3 to 5 as our input. What will our output be? It needs to be negative 1 in order for this to be linear. So y is equal to 3 divided by 5. But what does that equal? That's 3 fifths, which is 0 0.6. So now we go from 1 to 0 0.6. That means we're decreasing by 0 0.4. So this rate of change is different, it's not linear. <coughs> so what I would say is that this is not a linear function because it does not have a constant rate of change. First, three, uh, we decrease by two, going from three to one, for an increase of two here. But then for another increase of two, from three to five, we decrease by 0.4, which is different, and therefore not a constant rate of change. This is, this is an inverse function and its rate of change is changing depending on the values you plug in. It's not linear. All right, I hope this helped.